Okay, now that Thanksgiving is over, a lot of families are ready to uh, get out there and buy their Christmas tree. Yeah, but the wet, dreary conditions and slippery roads were not optimal for holiday shopping, especially on tree farms. <laughs> KPX 5's Don Ford wanted to find out if the weather kept people away. Eh, it's a little rainy, it's a little, little damp, a little miserable. But that doesn't stop people from running out here and buying Christmas trees. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh, Christmas tree. <laughs> Aisha Egerton right. loves Christmas. I, need to, I, need, I want all the trees, actually. I'll take them all home. So excited, she dashed down in her pajamas in the rain. I've been excited to get into the holiday spirit, uh, you know, kind of go up and down during yeah. this year. So I'm just like, you know what? I need some Christmas cheer. Yesterday we had the turkey, and then today, yesterday I wanted to buy the tree really bad. But I was like, oh. Uh, you know, you can't do that before Thanksgiving. But can I tell you a secret? I've been listening to Christmas music ever since Halloween passed. Tommy Spear owns three Christmas tree lots. He knows a lot about trees. Just because a tree is wet, that doesn't mean that it's not dry. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. Run that by me again. Yeah, the easiest way to tell is you grab the branch, you mm -hmm. pull on it, and if any leaves come off in your hand at all, then that tree is dry. These trees are from Oregon, hand-picked and cut only a couple of days ago. They are about as fresh as you can get and expensive. A six-foot noble is $91. A 10-foot silver tip is $262, while a tabletop will set you back $27. Lot manager Nate Barron says prices are going up because some growers are switching crops, thus reducing the supply. The farmers up there are growing marijuana now and stopping to grow, they're stopping not, not growing Christmas trees anymore. And they're growing so marijuana. marijuana is more more lucrative than Christmas trees. I guess so. Marijuana is one of them. Uh, another one they're doing now is almonds. Whatever the supply issues, people want these high-end hand-cut trees. This is ridiculous, or what? That we're in the rain in pajamas looking for Christmas trees. <laughs> Perhaps in Emeryville, so Don Ford, KPIX5.